Ruben, a 3-2 defeat to Shrewsbury, a disappointing afternoon? Yes, absolutely. I think uh, the beginning of the game was very uncharacteristic for what we are as a team. Uh, we managed to come back to the game, we conceded the goal straight before the half-time and then in the second half we we create chances uh, to score, but we didn't, and then at the end it's disappointed because uh, we need to be a team that needs to perform 100% every single minute, and for the first part of the game we were not. We've spoken in recent weeks about the side sometimes growing into games. Do you think that was what cost us a little bit early on today? No, I think it was. Uh, I think it was something that it was. It just we didn't start with the uh, with the way that we used to start, and then it was action after action. In those first six minutes, we were just behind them, uh, and this I think I don't think that is a I don't think I'm gonna make a good a big thing from out of that. I think is it was today. It was the moment. I think it's another point that we need to use uh, in our journey just to learn and to make things better. We don't need uh, to give anything for granted, especially in a game that like today. I think we have been good com uh, competing those games, so we just need to analyse and realise what uh, what was the failure today and then move forward and go for the next challenge. And on the other side, again, we're talking about fighting our way back into a game which must be really positive as well for you and the boys to, to see. Yeah, we just need to be finish the job. Once we go back, come back from that 2-2, two -two, from that 2-0 with the 2-2, two -two, we just need to either score the third one or don't let them... The, to score any situation, but uh, we didn't. And uh, I know the team has character, football, and is competitive in, 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 at any scenario. But uh, we need to remember that we need to do it every single time. Smithy and Kelvin with the goal scorers today. That's really important for them as well because they've both been waiting a, a while. They've contributed to goals, but not actually got one under their own own names for a couple of for a couple of games. I think the team put them in very good situations to score. The first goal is a good transition from us. The second one is also Kelvin in that space. I think that that's what we can demand and expect from our front players, and uh, they deliver. I think we still have chances today to for uh, them to score even one extra goal. Uh, but yeah, that defensive or offensive or whatever is the the part of the game, we need to do it together. They are our strikers, and we can expect them to score goals. You touched on it there. Second half, we were just missing that finish, created plenty of chances. Is frustration the right word for that? Well, we, we have been there before. I think uh, some other games we put that ball in the net. Today we didn't, and we need to just keep working on that. And another word I'm going to throw at you is pride. Obviously, we've put together a fantastic run over the last 15 games. Despite having seven in the last 21 days, the boys have put an unreal effort in over the recent periods, haven't they? I pr I'm proud of the work that they have been doing and the work that they do. I'm proud of them and the way that they manage the dressing room. But right now, I'm disappointed because I know that it doesn't matter the run that you are the last 15 games on 10, it matters today and today we were not ready in the beginning of the game. Moving on then, a lot of fans were here today and there's tickets still on sale for Carlisle next week. It's a very long journey but we need everyone up there with us again to go again together. Yeah, and I think the support uh, at home and away from home has been fantastic. I say that every week, every game, uh, we will be ready for that challenge and then we expect to have a good crowd behind us supporting us and cheering for us. So I invite everyone to come with us and then uh, all together we can make it.